Alright guys, um, M90 Mitchell here asked me, um, is there a way to do this name pop-up type thing in Sony Vegas that you see on the GoPros right here where it says Nick Way. Um, as I said, if you guys had any questions, I'll try to show like a little tutorial. Um, I'm just going to attempt this. It's probably going to be super ugly. Um, I haven't done it before, so I don't even know if it'll work. So we'll do this together. Um, get your video that has the rider you want. This is just a quick one from my local track. Um, insert yourself another video track and another video track. I'm going to go down to Media Generators, Solid Color. I'm going to put black. It's going to cover the entire screen. As you can see right there. I'm uh, going to go up and click on Event Pan Crop. Check Mask. And we're going to make a little rectangle right here. Um, if you want to take lots of time on this and make it nice and straight, be my guest. I'm way too lazy. And you can see there it shows up. So we have that right above it. We're going to put the name we want. Um, I like to have this on Project Media. Go back to text. Oops. So we'll do Daniel O. And then, of course, make it whatever font you'd like. Um, this one I've been digging lately. Oops. There we go. Got a text. Maybe you heard that. Okay, so then we're going to move this down into here just to work with for right now. And like I said, the more time you put into this, the better you can make it look. Or if you use Photoshop, you can make it look tons better. Like, just make a different image that can come in. But he asked me to do it in Sony Vegas, so I'm just going to do it in here, show you how it can be done only using Sony Vegas. So the clip starts. I'm uh, going to mute it so it doesn't blow your ears out. So that just comes like that. We don't want it. We want it to come like the video where it comes in from the side like that. It's really quick, but it, it doesn't just appear. It comes in from the side. So we're going to go up to our event pan and crop, and we're going to move this on over so it's out. And then move this some. And take note of the time right here. So you have, let me close this, sorry about that. So you have 20 milliseconds or whatever the fuck that is right there. And then that's when it's going to come back in. And then let's say another number that will be easy to remember. Um, two even. So 20 and 2 is when it's going to go back out. So we're going to put a keyframe there. Put one right in front of it. And actually I'm going to write this down on a sticky note. I always have sticky notes right in front of me. So it's going to become stable at 20. It's going to stay stable until 123. That's why I have the sticky note, because I probably wouldn't be able to remember that. And then at 2 seconds is when it's going to go away. That's probably going to be a little fast, but that's okay. So that, that'll just be the text moving in. So as you can see right there, the text flies in right there. And then we're going to match it up with the black. So event, pan crop. Make sure you click on position. Take it off of mask. Go to position. So we're going to move it on over out of the way. As you can see on the preview screen how it went away. And then at 20. Bam, right there. So you can see there. And also you can see where that's coming in. Set another keyframe. And put this all the way in. That's what she said. And then we're going to go to 123. Put a keyframe. I'm copying and pasting this with Control c Control v and then at 2 minutes it's going to go away. So these are going to be synced up with each other, so as it plays, right here it's going to zoom in and then zoom back out. Bam. Just like that. And of course you can speed it up by, or slow it down, by changing these keyframes. This is going to be off because I'm not going to take note of these times, I'm just going to completely guesstimate here. That'll move. And you can also use these hash marks. It's just not as precise, but it gets you a really good um, indication of where you're at. Alright, so then play that. Now it'll be much slower. And they're actually off. Whatever. Like I said, it wasn't going to be perfect. So These two somehow got replaced with each other. And that makes me look dumb. And Val's home. Hey, Val. Hey, bud. Hold on real quick, okay? Alright, so now it should be 
fixed. Hopefully, we'll see. I probably just messed it up even more. I did him backwards. Oh my gosh. Got distracted with Falgan here. Okay, well that was silly, so just disregard that. So now hopefully we're lined up. There we go, now it's slower, gonna stay there longer. And then in a second, fade back out. So that is how you're going to add a GoPro-like thing using only Sony Vegas. Like I said, if you use Adobe Photoshop or something like that, you can make this much, much cleaner. Um, you can get as precise as you want when you do the masking, um, drawing this little box. Of course, I just did a quick one, but that's how you can do it. Hopefully, it helped you out. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, as always, feel free to contact me on Twitter. At uh, DO991 is the best way. This was through a YouTube message, which is probably the worst way, but obviously, I still get it. So I uh, hope this helped you guys out, and I will talk to you later.